Hi, I'm Evan Coots, reporter with the Great Lakes Beacon, here with your weekly news roundup. On Monday, Governor Gretchen Wimmer announced a shelter-in-place order, placing significant limits on when people are allowed to leave their homes during the coronavirus outbreak. You can find details and links to the order in our weekly roundup. So we work together and we take this seriously. We can slow the spread of COVID-19. Governor Gretchen Whitmer continues to demand Donald Trump and the federal government do more to support states and combat the coronavirus crisis. A pedestrian bridge in Detroit collapsed this week. Transportation officials are saying that the entire bridge will have to be removed. You can find a link to the full story in our weekly roundup. Attorney General Dana Nessel joined other attorneys general in calling on Amazon and Whole Foods to guarantee paid sick time to their workers during the coronavirus crisis. Unions and other progressive groups are pushing a petition expressing support for all of the workers on the front lines of this pandemic. A link to the petition is in our weekly roundup. Progressive advocacy group Progress Michigan announced plans to host a free, family-friendly virtual magic show on Friday, April 3rd. You can find a link to the details in our weekly roundup. And lastly, Michigan Planned Parenthood advocates have highlighted the importance of preserving abortion access during the outbreak in the Beacon's Tweet of the Week. I'm Evan Coots. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.